How ruthless is a nine-year-old girl when it comes to killing people? There is such a little girl in the United States. Superficially excellent in character and character. Behind the scenes, it's a killer demon. Some people say that he can unite with the female head of the orphanage to destroy the world. It's really killing people without blinking an eye. The little girl played by McKenna Grace, I'm sure you've heard his name before. Representative works include talented girl Annabelle and others. At a young age, my acting skills are so good. Even when playing Captain Surprise. 20 seconds on camera, but stole the spotlight from the film Queen. The bad guys of this 2018 movie still haven't disappointed the audience. The story goes like this. One morning nine-year-old Emma watched her cat drown but remained indifferent. From here, it can be seen that Emma is not an ordinary person. After the father's demon rescued the drowned cat, and comfort Emma not to be sad, I'll find you a better one later. Little did Emma know that there was no turbulence in her heart, Emma lost her mother at a young age, relying on my father for a living. Occasionally, her aunt Angela would come to see them, a bee flew in outside the school window. When the classmates under the bees cry for their father, and call for their mother, only Emma stepped forward and gently shone a glass like this. Catch the bees and release them, calm down not like a nine-year-old child. And during recess play, Emma began to show a malicious side. Out of jealousy, he intentionally knocked down his classmate, and he pretended to comfort his classmates that he didn't mean to do it. When helping classmates, stealing a classmate's favorite watch, Emma, who thought she was flawless, didn't know that everything was being seen by the teacher. On the day of the annual awards, Dama personally dressed Emma up beautifully. Emma's home is filled with these medals. Of course, I am also full of confidence in this medal. Teacher, because last time I saw Emma stealing someone else's watch. This gold medal is not intended for him. So when the gold medal was awarded to his good friend Milo next to him, Emma's face was as ugly as if she had eaten a fly. After the award ceremony ends, Dumao approached the teacher to inquire about Emma's performance at school. The teacher did not say that Emma stole the watch from someone, but it was a compliment first, saying that Emma's grades are excellent. I haven't encountered such a person in 20 years of teaching myself, but what about it? Emma lives in her own world. She doesn't know. Fear. I bet he can become an Oscar queen in the future. The implication is that Emma has a set on the surface and a set behind her. But Darmau clearly didn't recognize it. And Emma appeared indifferent in front of her father, even congratulating Milo on receiving the medal. And then secretly, he led Milo to the edge of the cliff. Take Milo's medal away. And with a cold expression, he pushed Milo down. When Milo was discovered, he's no longer breathing. It's just Milo's mother crying in despair. And everyone had no doubt about a nine-year-old girl. The next day, the new nanny also came to work. But who knows on the surface, this is a nanny, but secretly stole two pills from Darmau, probably trying to take drugs. This happened to show Emma, the nanny has a handle on Emma's hand. After a while, at Milos' funeral, Emma's performance was a sad one, compared to his inner hatred. It's really ironic, absolutely the principle of the withdrawal, because of the adverse effects of the last incident. Emma's teacher had to come to the door to verify what Emma heard or saw, but all of this was heard by Emma and his nanny. A nine-year-old girl climbs mountains with her good friends and then he pushed his good friend down the cliff. The teacher suspects that Emma did it, so I came to Emma's house to inquire about the situation, but Emma deliberately hurt herself, to avoid being questioned. The teacher could only bid farewell first, when she saw Emma being injured. At night, Damau asked him about Milo, he denies it completely, and Damau also chose to believe in Emma. One day Emma saw his teacher go to Mano's house, still investigating the cause of Milo's death. This makes him feel a bit uneasy inside, and the nanny also saw that Milo's death must have been related to Emma, so he started threatening him, saying, police officers treat children who have killed someone, will tie them up with a pink little movie, and then grill it on the fire. Just grill bacon in the morning first. Emma is afraid. So the next day, Emma's wasp nest in the backyard was placed in the teacher's car, causing the teacher's death. And the nanny also happened to find the missing medal under Emma's bed. Then he placed the medal on the lamp in Darmaya's room. That's it. Emma was posed by the nanny. But he still doesn't admit that he killed a lol. So this is Milo playing a game with himself and losing. Just lend it to yourself for a while. Finally, Damau and Emma returned Milos' gold medal to Milos' mother. She learned from her conversation with Milos' mother that the teacher had just had a car accident. The reason is that there's a wasp nest in his car. Just at this moment, Emma interrupted. He said he's not feeling well and wants to go home. And Damau sleeps at night, flipping through photos from the ceremony day. Every photo shows Emma looking at the gold medal on Milos' chest, revealing deep jealousy. And the wasp nest outside my own warehouse is also missing. Damau doesn't want to doubt his daughter. But one thing after another happened and all sorts of coincidences forced him to doubt. He realized the seriousness of the matter. I immediately arranged with a psychologist to talk to Emma. Here is a small colored egg. This Maggie psychologist, even the little female lead of the 1956 version of the villain has disappeared. But I was still fooled by Emma and passed the test. She's still recognized by Dr. March as a very normal girl. When I get home, Emma and the nanny tore each other apart again. The nanny not only continued to intimidate him, even open the sunroof and speak frankly. I want to be your stepmother. Be honest with me. Otherwise, there won't be any good fruit to eat. 
So Emma, this is not a good thing either. The nanny really got into trouble with someone she shouldn't have. Who would have thought that Emma didn't speak of martial arts? Guide the nanny to his father's warehouse full of flammable materials, then lock all the doors tightly, set a fire. Can you imagine this being made by a nine-year-old girl? He led the nanny to the warehouse, and then set a fire. So Emma watched helplessly through the window as the nanny was burned to death. A disdainful smile curled from the corner of my mouth. When my father rushed back, the nanny is already ripe. Although Emma said the reason was that the nanny was smoking in the cabin and lighting the house, but Emma still thinks there's something strange in the various events. He decided to have a good conversation with Emma, and Emma also knows she can't keep it hidden. Frankly admitted that he killed Milo and his first nanny, including the cat at home and his teacher, and the current nanny, and Emma has no awareness of doing anything wrong, still feel like I'm doing the right thing, can't see me. I said it first, get out of here, sleepless all night. The next morning the police officer called and said they wanted to talk to him and Emma. Dalmau is still selfish. I want to solve this on my own. She refused the police officer on the grounds that Emma was uncomfortable with this situation. He didn't know that this decision would make him regret it for a lifetime. Under immense pressure, Dalmau had to take Emma to his lakeside cottage to relax and relax. He wants to kill his daughter here, and then commit suicide. Father wants to protect his daughter in this way, not to make his affairs known to everyone. But he never expected. Emma sensed Dalmau's intention. Prepare to fight back to protect oneself. While my father was sleeping, Emma opened the gas valve to poison her father to death. And at this moment, Dharma had a dream. He's brushing his teeth. Suddenly, a hand reached out from the bathtub and grabbed my leg. The young and beautiful nanny lying in the bathtub. The nightmare made Dharma wake up in time. Detected gas leakage. When Dharma turned off the gas, found Emma standing by the river as if nothing had happened, watching as she began to kill her father. That's okay. Dharma approached and questioned me, saying that I am your only relative. But Emma said you were dead, and I can still find Aunt Angela. Dharma was stunned. Is this what my daughter, whom I have always loved, said? Darmaya's last bit of luck. Once. This made him determined to eliminate him as cemetery. He poured the sleeping pills onto the table, and then crush it. It's hard to imagine how this father feels at this moment. He put the powder into the hot coffee, but Emma seems to have known for a long time that she dropped her coffee bag. When my father was sleeping, Emma picked up a gun and prepared to kill her father. One shot skewed. Darmal has also come to his senses, and Emma didn't kill her when she saw it. I picked up the phone again and called the police pretending to be his father trying to kill him. Meanwhile, Emma hid, and Damau took the pistol and chased after Emma. When Damau was about to end Emma's life, the neighbor suddenly rushed over and stopped him. Neighbors awakened by gunfire, I naturally came over with a gun in my hand. Emma saw her neighbor crying with pear blossoms and rain, saying that Damau is going to kill him, help me. Damau told his neighbors not to listen to his nonsense. He's the culprit, but the neighbors don't believe him at all. Of course, I choose to believe in children. So when Damau was about to shoot, neighbors fired first and hit Damau. Damau looked at his neighbor incredulously, then he fell to the ground and died. The police and aunt arrived one after another. At this moment, he returned to being an innocent little girl, lying on my aunt's shoulder, just a wicked smile on the corner of my mouth. But it makes people shudder. That's the end of the story. This movie perfectly showcases what it means to invert black and white, make people hate to score minutes and strangle surrogate mothers. This also indicates that McDonald's acting skills are amazing. He demonstrated well what the root of the bad is like. But are they really born villains? Actually, everyone is born with a blank sheet of paper. As for the content, it all depends on how parents and teachers create it. But there are some very rare cases. They have innate antisocial personalities. Like the 12-year-old boy before, it was a mother's love. After being arrested, I argued that I didn't kill anyone else. I killed my mother, and he was immediately released under the age of 14. I won't say much more here. If there are really precocious children, who know they have such a gold medal for avoiding death, start doing whatever you want. That would really be terrifying. Okay. That's all for today's story. Like my work, remember to like and follow it. See you next time.